Do you realize what's actually lurking inside your toothbrush head? Probably not. For those of you who don't want to be grossed out, click away now. Hey, it's John from Electric Teeth here. Every now and then, people mention to me about mold and gunk building up inside their toothbrush head. It's something I have been aware of myself for a while, but not spent much time investigating how quickly it forms and how best to remove it. Now I have, and the results are pretty shocking. My intention isn't to point blame or criticise one company in particular, but based on some of my own testing and feedback I have received, the issue seems to be worst on those brushes that use oscillating and rotating heads, the best known of which is All B, but there are others such as Gobi. The reason for this seems to be as a result of the multiple holes that exist in the shaft and body of the brush head. I can't think of a brush head used on a Sonic toothbrush like those from Philips Sonicare, Colgate, Oclean and more that have such holes. The only opening they have is at the bottom to attach to the brush handle. You can get grime inside those heads but it doesn't appear to be as prevalent. On screen now you will see an unboxing of a brand new Oral-B IO brush head. We are showing the openings in the head, the colour of the visible parts and then shining a light into the base of it to show the shadows inside. These shadows are created by internal parts of the head and should be considered normal. Note the position of these shadows because later there will be some additional shadowing. Ok, so one last warning if you don't want to be grossed out, click away now. We are now showing you a brush head that has been in use for about three months. This head has been given a quick rinse after almost every use. It has been placed back onto the handle but not clipped into place securely. It has then been allowed to air dry, stood in a toothbrush holder I have by the sink. The head has only then been reconnected properly before each brushing session. I could be wrong, but I suspect this approach is in line with what most other electric toothbrush users would do. As you should be able to see, this looks pretty clean, but certainly not spotless. There are some additional shadows appearing inside the head. If I give the head a thorough rinse under the tap with warm water and then give it a good few knocks on the sink without too much effort, we see the mould and grime coming out. Needless to say, this isn't pleasant. When I use this on a daily basis and rinse the handle and head, I am not normally knocking the head on the sink with the intention of having mould like this fall out. I am now going to show you another brush head that has also been in use for about 3 months. This head has only gotten a really quick rinse very occasionally and for the most part the head has remained attached to the handle. It has then been allowed to air dry, stood in a toothbrush holder I have by the sink. You can see even before the rinse that this is very grimy. There is also a lot of gunk around the neck of the brush handle where the head attaches. There is more shadowing in this head when the light is shone inside. Now when the head is rinsed and knocked, I think it is safe to say the resulting mess in the sink says it all. Pretty nasty right? Now this head was intentionally not cleaned as thoroughly for the purpose of this test, but I wouldn't be surprised if some users are not rinsing their brushes at all post use. Now let me take this one stage further by cutting open these heads. Bear in mind this is after the thorough rinsing. You can still see lots of grime on the magnetic part inside the head and within the plastic body. I've got to be honest, even though I knew this was an issue, I was a bit shocked. This is by no means a scientifically or clinically accurate test, but I think it gives a good idea of what the results might be should such a test be carried out in a more controlled environment. The user manuals for a toothbrush normally offer cleaning directions. A thorough rinse after each use is usually what is recommended. This cleaning applies to sonic brushes as well as the oscillating and rotating ones. From my testing, this would appear to have meaningful benefit. 
But the whole issue of mold and cleanliness appears to be a bigger issue for these brush heads with holes in. And I think the IO series handles from Oral B demonstrates the issue well. When moisture is allowed to get inside the head, it is almost impossible to prevent some sort of buildup entirely. Unless you apply heat or somehow thoroughly dry inside the head, there will always be residual moisture that wants to escape at some point. Some will remain trapped. Assuming the head remains connected to the handle, or placed on top at least, the only escape route is down the handle itself. Fine, this is physics in action. But the problem is exacerbated with the IO models. This is because the top of the brush handle where the head connects has a different attachment design. The gap between the magnet and the outer plastic tube gives a place for the residual moisture in the head to find its way into. Just look at the grime that comes out of the gap when cleaned with an interdental brush. It is the first time I have placed a brush into this gap but do bear in mind that the top of this handle has been rinsed regularly. Given that this appears to be less of an issue on sonic brushes as there are no holes in the body of the head, I reached out to Oral-B to learn why the holes exist. Their response was, The openings you are referring to are designed to allow the water to flush through the brush head tube and to allow air inside. This venting ensures the brush head dries sufficiently after use and also reduces moisture inside the tube. It is important to always rinse your brush head thoroughly after each use to prevent residue from building up and blocking the openings. This doesn't feel like it really justifies the need for the holes in the first place. Further research would suggest that the water, debris and toothpaste etc can still seep into the head via the locations where the bristles attach, irrespective of sonic or oscillating design. This is because the heads are not made to be watertight. Thus, the holes in the Oral-B heads give the opportunity to rinse out anything that might have gotten in via these points, but they do too offer greater opportunity for moisture to get in. Failing to rinse can also potentially result in more friction when the head is in motion and less effective in operation. To some extent this affects sonic brushes too, but the mould issue seems to not be anywhere near as bad. There are some comments online as to how and why this grime or mould builds up that align with my own thoughts. As you brush, water, toothpaste, plaque, bacteria and debris are getting inside the brush head via the holes. When not sufficiently cleaned, these get stuck inside and stick to the internal surfaces. The proteins in this liquid mix is enough to allow bacteria to breed and the formation of the gunk and mould. Over days, weeks or months, this only gets worse. As far as I'm aware, this build-up isn't going to do much harm to the average person. The natural bacteria you have in the mouth and body will deal with any nasties. But I do know from personal experience, it doesn't taste great. I have brushed on many occasions where I know liquid is getting inside the head and spilling out as I brush. I can hear it and taste it. It's not the most pleasant. Maybe you have experienced this too. Unfortunately, there isn't an easy conclusion to this video and the problem. Rinsing your handle and head are important. Keeping the head completely detached from the handle will help reduce the amount of grime that builds up. It's not like going to a sonic toothbrush solves this issue entirely either. Gunk and mold can still make an appearance and there are other pros and cons to consider. So there we have it. Proof that your toothbrush head isn't likely all that clean unless you are regularly cleaning it. It is best to try and rinse the brush head thoroughly after each use. Let the head dry and minimize the chances of it impacting you. If you feel it's about time you clean your toothbrush properly, check out this video. It shows you how.